Hello my beautiful queens, it's Rani here and welcome back to my channel. So the festive season is fast approaching with Diwali being right round the corner making it a perfect time to bring out my Indian outfits and look for this year. If you would like to see how I got ready for this look, then please keep watching. So jumping straight into the tutorial, if you have previously watched my videos then you would know I have to apply my go-to simple moisturiser. I applied this on all over my face with my fingers as I just feel this is the best way to really massage the product into the skin. Then moving on to primer, I went in with my Primed and Ready by Collection. This is really mattifying so it is really good if you would be wearing your makeup for the whole day or for a warmer day. Since it was Diwali and I was going to be getting exposed to a lot of smoke and heat through fireworks, candles and divas, I wanted to keep my makeup intact throughout the night. Also I did want a more matte look as opposed to a glowy look as I was going in with a heavy eye. For my base I went in with my medium coverage foundation by MAC and the shade 2.0. I do really like this product even though I did kind of forget I had this as it really allows to build the product up to your preferred coverage. I did apply two coats of this on with my beauty blender and dab this onto my skin for a flawless and blended finish. Moving on to brows, to really shape and enhance my eye area I used my small angled brush and my favourite brown MUA single shadow to fill my brows in. Now for eyes, using a coppery soft orange colour from my Morphe palette I applied this into my crease using a fluffy blending brush. I did go in for a few coats of this until I was happy with the intensity of the colour. Then just to highlight the base of the eyelids and remove the product that may have fallen from the crease, I used my Fit Me concealer by Maybelline and popped a small amount in the middle of my lids and blended this out with a flat brush. Now for the glitter part, I first went in and applied the glue on the areas that I had previously applied the concealer. I did let this sit for a couple of seconds just so the glue got a little bit sticky. Then with another flat brush, I dipped the tip of my brush into the glitter and slowly applied this on. I repeated this step a few times to make sure the whole lid was covered and no gaps were left. I then went in with my black matte liner by Maybelline and did a winged effect to help outline and shape the eye while give it some definition and help bring the whole look together. I did go ahead and apply my false lashes on after two to really emphasize my lashes while really opening the eye up as well. To complete the eyes, I went in with the same colours I used for my eye crease for my lower lash line and applied this on with an angled brush. Then moving on to the base of my face again with a clean fluffy brush, I wiped off any excess product that may have fallen from the eyes. For contour, I used my MAC Studio Tech Compact Foundation in the shade NC45 and applied this onto my cheekbone, jawline, forehead and nose and went ahead and blended this out with my stippling brush by Real Technique. I absolutely love this colour and product as it's very warm and it complements my skin complexion very well. I actually prefer to use a warmer shade of foundation for my contour instead of contour sticks or palettes as I feel this doesn't make my face look muddy and it's always so much easier to blend and it doesn't move other products in the meantime as well. Moving on to concealer, I used the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and popped this on under my eyes, just under my cheekbones, cubis bow, chin, the bridge of my nose and the middle of my forehead and blended this all out with my beauty blender. I did go back with my Real Technique brush to really blend out any harsh lines and to really pull the look together. Now 
Now for bronzer, I use this from the Barry M Champagne and Dreams palette as I didn't want this to be too intense as my eyes were the main focus of this look. I popped this onto my cheekbones and forehead where I had previously contoured with my fluffy brush for a light and seamless application and finish. Moving on to highlight, using the same fluffy brush, I went ahead and applied my MAC highlighter on in the shade Soft and Gentle onto my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. I did apply this onto my chin and the middle of my forehead slightly as well, which I usually wouldn't, but I just got a little bit carried away as we all do with highlighters. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend following that step. For my lip, I didn't want to keep this very nude and natural, so I went in with my LA Girl lip liner in the shade True Brown and followed that on with my L'Oreal lipstick in the shade Pink Passion or the number 371. Next, using a flat brush, I did touch up and make sure the colours were properly blended in together. For the final touches, with a flat straight brush, I went in and highlighted my brow bones and the inner corner of my eyes using the soft pink shade from the Champagne and Dreams palette. And there you have it, the look is now complete. I hope you enjoyed creating this Diwali look with me. Don't forget to click the big thumbs up and subscribe below, comment and share. Wish everyone a very happy, fun and safe Diwali. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Mwah.